Dr. Wong Jun Shen. I'm a vitreoretinal surgeon from the International Specialist Eye Centre in Kuala Lumpur. When the pandemic started in March, we had a lockdown in Kuala Lumpur and that really affected our business volume. The lockdown also affects our travel. We are not able to travel outside of district or interstate. And this is where I think technology like um, telemedicine is brought into the forefront. It actually opened a new avenue for us. Prior to pandemic, we never really considered telemedicine as something that is a, a, a viable alternative to what we are practicing. So this pandemic really uh, pushed us to adopt technology. Technology today, such as uh, the forum and also the uh, serious uh, viewer allow us to look at diagnostic investigation done thousands of uh, miles away and able to review and look at it in real time and able to give opinion on such. Because of the certain nature of the uh, pandemic, we have to modify the way we do things. For example, we limit the number of uh, consultations per hour so that there would be always imposed physical distancing or social distancing. We actually segregate our clinical staff into teams, right? We have team A, team B, and then we take turns to come to work. The usual precaution applies. So all patients, before they even step in the building, they have to uh, declare their health status. Patients and relatives are asked to scan an app that is used for contact tracing and have their temperature taken. If they are not of any risk, they are allowed to see us in the clinic. And in the clinic, we practice social distancing where we close certain seats that are adjacent to each other so that people are separated at least one meter apart. We also do a COVID antigen test for patients who need emergency operation, especially if they are going for general anesthesia. We have branches in Burma and because of lock border, we are not able to uh, provide that kind of services anymore. And this is where telemedicine is brought into the forefront. Technology today, such as like, uh, what we have with size, uh, the forum and also the uh, serious viewer allow us to look at diagnostic investigation done thousands of uh, miles away and able to review and look at it in real time and able to give opinion on such. For example, forum allows me to uh, look at uh, the visual field, the uh, OCT done remotely, all right? I can record them up on my screen and I can also compare the, uh, the progression, I can look at the retinal images and the good thing is this is uh, we can analyze the image in real time, we can slice at different slices, we can call up different images at different time and uh, we can also look at say uh, a glaucoma analysis of the patient look at the trend, look at a different test by itself and we can go through the test together. So this has, uh, is so much uh, better than just having uh, static scans, uh, scan images. I can see images that's done uh, on the IOM Master and also on the uh, Humphrey uh, automated parametry. It's as if like we are seeing the patient in our own locality. As a retinal surgeon, most of my patients will have OCT done before they even enter my room and the results are uploaded to the remote viewing software, for example, forum and the patients will then go to see their doctors and have their results viewed by the doctors and patients themselves at the comfort of their consultation room and this increases the efficiency of our practice and also minimizes the contact of uh, patients with each other. So tests are done, see the doctor, discover the doctor, and the doctor also, also do not need to travel from rooms to rooms. After the consultation, if a decision is made for surgery or treatment, the patient is then asked to see a counsellor uh, for further information regarding the treatment and the procedure itself. Here, the patient again is asked to see a counsellor and the number of company person is restricted to only one other person whenever they meet any of our staff. This is our minor procedure treatment room where we do most of the intravitreal injections. And during pandemic times, patients are still encouraged to get their injections. 
in between patients, we have to clean, to sanitize, wash our hands. We have to wipe down the uh, chair where the patient sits before the next patient. And of course, masking is compulsory. All right? uh, everybody who does not don a mask are not uh, allowed to come into the clinic. And this is our ambulatory surgical centre. And this is where we do our day surgery. And a uh, patient would still be able to have the procedure done during this pandemic. There's not much a change in our flow, except that patients are high risk. That is, if they go for general anesthesia or they have uh, come from a district where they have, uh, uh, we consider red zone for COVID, they may have to do a pre-COVID test uh, at least three days before the uh, procedure. Uh, but for a vast majority of the low risk cases, like just a quick uh, cataract surgery, right, pre-COVID test is optional. So we only process uh, one patient admission per time, so there's no physical crowding. We do sometimes visit other branches in uh, different countries, so we explore telemedicine. So we are able to actually provide remote teleconsult and we are able to go through all the images on the software such as the forum and so we can at least uh, give our opinion on what to be done and what to, how to treat the situation. Telemedicine has been proven all right, in this pandemic that it is so easily done. Once the pandemic is over, we will still want to do a lot of uh, remote consultation on this platform because it saves time and saves cost. Thank you for the opportunity for me to share with you our practice during this pandemic and some of the innovation that we have uh, embarked on during this uh, unprecedented time. And I hope everyone will stay safe and you have a successful practice. Thank you.